today we're going to find out a little bit more about the Anglo-Saxons. Most of the information that we know about the Anglo-Saxons comes from burial sites. We're going to focus on jewellery today, specifically brooches. Lots of brooches have been found around Oxfordshire in different places. Some of them are very different from today's jewellery. Some of them are very similar. I'm going to start by showing you our most interesting brooch and our rare, probably our rarest brooch. Um, I have a replica of it here. This is the Hanny brooch. So the original Hanny brooch was found in 2009 by metal detectorist. We've had this replica made to show what it would have looked like. It's a really interesting brooch. It's called a disc brooch. It's made out of lots of layers of discs of metal that have been put together. It also has gold and garnets and um, shell on the brooch. It's a really interesting brooch because it wasn't just a brooch for decoration. One of the reasons being, if I try and pin it onto my top, you will notice it just drags it down and falls off straight away. So it really wouldn't work as a decorative brooch. It was very much a holding your cloak or holding two heavy pieces of material together. The Hanny brooch is very similar to ones that have been found in Kent. It's not a local Oxfordshire design. The garnets were believed to offer protection and were could even be used to prevent injury and illness. They're not local. Garnets don't come from Britain. They were from Bohemia or possibly Sri Lanka. The brooch here was found in West Hendred. It's a saucer brooch. It has lots of interlocking patterns within it. These are very, very common in Anglo-Saxon times. Saucer brooches have been found throughout the county. I also have a chrysiform brooch, also found in West Hendred. Some of the other interesting brooches that we've found are a face brooch from Watchfield and a star brooch from Gorin. We're going to show you some images of some other interesting brooches that have been found. 